Hey folks, I'm Naveen and I work with the Serve Engineering team. And today I'll be talking to you about this new feature called as Query Tags. So what are Query Tags? To understand Query Tags, let's take a higher level overview of what Hasura actually does when it gets a graphical operation. Say we have a graphical operation, get results, which basically gets all the name of the results, and then we pass it to Hasura. What Hasura does is it converts this graphical operation into an SQL statement. But with this feature, we also add an extra SQL comment to the generated SQLs, which will help us give some information of the actual graphical operation. For example, here, when the generated SQL is select star from wizards, right? But at the same time, we also added the root field name, which was wizards, as you can see here, and the operation name get wizards. So it should help us correlate with the actual GraphQL operation. So let me just take to you and explain to you why do we actually need it? So let's assume uh, in my well-crafted drawing that I have an Hasura app and it's connected to a database and since we do not live in ideal world, I also have initialized my PG analyze. Uh, okay, yeah, I, I've, I've also added a PG analyze. PG analyze is nothing but a native Postgres monitoring tool, which will ha help us give deep insights to the post, uh, Postgres logs. So once I have set all this up with Mehasura, which connected to database and PG analyze it, and analyze monitoring the database logs, I release my app to the universe. Now, everyone from the computer to the alien might be using my app. So what happens, uh, assume that, um, assume that a user uh, is trying to execute a query. He goes here and he tries to execute a query, but he sees that this query is taking a very long time. And he comes to me and say, hey, human, what are you actually doing? My query is going slow. Fix it. Quick, fix it quickly. And I, being a really responsible engineer, I try to figure it out what can I do. So the first step would be that since I have already added my PG analyze to the database, it should have caught the slow queries, right? So I go to the PG analyze tab. Yeah, and I go to my PG Analyze tab and I see that it did catch some queries which are taking some average time of eight milliseconds. And so I click on this tab and I see that all I get is a very big SQL statement. And if I have to figure out what is this loop, uh, what is the actual GraphQL query which could execute it, this SQL statement is not going to help us at all. But that is where the query tags come in. If you see here, we, we did already add a, uh, SQL comment, which would help us at least fish out or finalize the actual GraphQL operation, which would execute it to here. So if you can see here, the query tags, or let me just for a better view, let me just click on the query tags tab. So if you can see here, it, it did uh, capture some query tags, which says that operation name was my query, the field name or the root field name was get article sleep. And it also gave us this parameter as query hash. So this three information should be enough for us to actually figure out what was the actual GraphQL op operation which was executed to get this SQL statement. Um, folks, so that is the demo of query tags. So a very too long don't read of this query tags would be that query tags nothing but a simple SQL comment which we add to the generated SQL statement. And the benefit of having query tags is it will help us to end-to-end -end tracing of our GraphQL operation and also do performance analysis. So folks, if you have any more questions, do check out the feature and give us feedback. And if you need more information, we also have docs regarding query tags inside the Hasura Cloud and query tags tabs. So it's a very well-documented feature. So do check it out.